Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, if you've watched my videos before, you'll realize this is the first time that I've actually talked over any. Um, so hopefully this goes really smoothly and we have no problems whatsoever. Um, if you're curious what this is all about, generally I like taking photographs, I like editing photographs, and I like sharing those photographs and edits with anyone who's willing to look at them. So today my plan is to take a photograph of mine, which was taken on a sunrise walk through the wonderful beaches of Skegness. And something I've been doing recently is editing a picture in four different styles. The only thing I've done to these pictures prior to this video is level the horizon out and nothing else. So the plan is green and blind. We'll try and get four different pictures. I will talk along the way and we'll see how it goes. So first up, picture number one. I think with this, I'm going to start by increasing the exposure slightly, just to get that more rounded off. Um, and obviously this has made the ground a little bit too light, um, but I really like the sky with this picture. So let's go in first. I just want to add a little bit more warmth. So generally what I'm going to do with these pictures is you'll probably have a warm one, a cool one, um, one that's a little bit more crazy, and then we'll go for a black and white. That's kind of what I like doing. So that's really brought out the sunset for me. Lovely colour to the clouds. I still think this is a little bit too light along the bottom. So green with a green filter. Let's not go too high on that. And then just bring that exposure down a little bit. So I don't want to get completely rid of the ground, but I do just want to give it a little bit more darkness to it. That's okay. So now let's see. I always like to play around a little bit with the highlight shadows and just kind of see what they can produce or what can come out of them. Um, so you might see me in previous videos wildly flick left and right, and it's more just testing the picture and seeing what I've got there. So let's go with the highlights first. So as you see, if I take the highlights up, I'm going to wash out the sky. We're going to lose a lot of that detail, but actually if it comes back down a little bit, there's a lot of detail in those clouds that I'm really liking. So that's going to come down a little. And similarly the shadows. So I'll expect that beach to liven up a little bit, but I don't want to take it up too much because it'll be negating that filter that I've put in place. Similarly with the whites. So as you can see, what this is doing is when I've got the whites, it's affecting that whole image. Um, so if I bring that all the way down, you can see the kind of see color just change ever so slightly. And I don't really want to do that. Um, I just want to get the sky out a bit more in this. So what I'm going to do is just put another filter over. About there should be okay. So if we have a look where that is, it kind of starts coming off and just grabs the clouds. I'm just going to take that white down just a little bit. About there should be good. Okay. Now I usually would play around with texture clarity a little bit, but this first one, I think I'm going to leave it. Um, leave that for the third picture when I go a little bit on the crazier side. Um, but I am going to put the vibrance up a bit, just to hopefully bring in a little bit more of the sunset. Okay. So tone curves. Um, you notice I've not played with the contrast too much so far on this image. Um, kind of want to try and get that on a curve, so I'm going to just put in an initial S curve. You'll see those dark tones rise slightly, come a little bit washed out, and give us kind of like a nice I like to call it like a bit of a hazy look, usually a moody look, but for me it just gives that image. But we're losing some of our whites there, so as soon as we add our points that curve, we can start bringing some of those whites back. Okay, let's go. Let's put some of those dice back in. Now, I like to play with colors a lot. Um, 
but once again I'm going for quite a warm image here so I want to kind of focus in the orange sections and um, there's a little bit of blue in the clouds here which I wouldn't mind seeing darken a bit just to add a bit more drama to the picture um, and I could use a kind of like an adjustment brush and bring the darkness out here um, but mostly I think I'm just going to try and reduce the saturation of those blues a little bit and you'll just see those go from the picture and similar if we bring that luminance down and likewise on the oranges let's just push those a bit I think we can go quite obviously go all the way that's going to look really crazy um, but let's try about 50 on that um, some people might say it's a bit too much but for me I quite like that orange glow there um, and that's it that is picture number one Okay, so let's have a quick look at the before and after of that one. Um, let's do side by side. So tell me what you think in the comments as usual. If you like it, if you think I've made it worse, always a, always a possibility in some people's eyes. Um, and let's go on to picture number two. So, like I said, this one, I kind of wanted to be a bit cooler. Um, a similar kind of thing, I think. To be honest, I might leave the exposure on this one a bit lower um, because we keep those clouds quite dark already um, and I want to go for that dark and moody feel. So I am going to bring the temperature down a little bit and you can see how that's really shifted into the blues and we're going to play with that a little bit later. Kind of what I want to do, try and get the blues really over thin and then just have this nice kind of glow in the middle of it. Um, whether that works or not, we will find out. I'm going to leave the beach as it is this time and I'm gonna try and just bring in a couple of filters um, and what I'm trying to do with these is get that exposure down in the clouds a little bit and we're gonna try and create a really kind of atmospheric effect almost like very moody very dark skies very different picture to what we had last time so I'm gonna just get initial picture bring a little bit of um, exposure down on that and you'll see the clouds start getting darker as you would expect and bring that contrast up quite a bit and then I'm going to duplicate that and you'll see obviously the clouds are going to be way too dark um, but we kind of with what we want so I bring that fill up just a touch um, and what I get is this really nice light streak down the middle really loving that because it's just for me that draws the eye up from the sun to the center of the image um, Let's take that filter off. I think I might try. Let's get those highlights up a little bit more. And the shadows, we're going to go down with them. So I'm quite enjoying that. But like I said, I want to try and get that orange out a little bit more. Um, this might not work, but what I might try a little bit up. So don't be scared of the idea that that filters complete the wrong settings at the moment. We're going to fix that in the middle. So let's invert that. We're only going to be changing that center. So I'm just going to bring up that exposure just a little bit in the middle. And then I'm going to try and increase the saturation there. Not enough so that it's too crazy, but just enough so kind of got a bit more sense of that and I think let's try and increase the clarity there I don't like going too crazy on clarity um because I mean you know we can go crazy but it just gives it a really whole grain to pictures um very noticeable so let's go about 10 and then as I said earlier I really want that orange to come through so I'm gonna try Let's bring it down a little bit on the hue and then really go mad with the saturation on this one. Let's just go to luminance a little bit. Okay, now I kind of like the orange that's coming through on these highlights. Um, so I usually always try and play with color grading a little bit. I'm not that great with it, I'll be quite honest. Um, but I do like the effects that. I guess sometimes. Um, 
I am a bit of a maniac. Sometimes I will grab the wheel and just spin it around crazy and go, well, that doesn't look right. Um, and you can get some really nice effects, so like you could go and add a lot of blue to the highlights. Um, but what I kind of want to do is add some deep oranges to the highlights. And what I'm hoping, not too much, but it just brings out these clouds a little bit more. And we get that glow, which looks like the sun's glowing up to the clouds and coming through. So I think that's this one. So the before and after on that one. There we go. So, whoops. On to picture number three. Um, so this is where, like I said, I'm gonna go a bit crazy. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this one. Um, let's try some very interesting things. And I do this quite a lot in my photos. Usually the number of times I'll open up a photograph and just play with the sliders without really kind of like thought or reason. Um, and it's just nice to see what it produces sometimes. Um, for me, I find it a great way to learn um, what different sliders do and what you can get away with. But I can imagine it seems like going to abandon a little bit. So I'm just going to go a bit mad on the temperature. I think like, um, I like the idea that this is like just like fire in the sky, sun coming through. Um, I might have gone a little bit too bad with the exposure there, so let's bring it down. So yeah, I quite like that. So it's kind of like giving more, even though it's a sunrise, it feels more like a golden hour, moody sunset kind of feeling. Um, quite high on the contrast. So something I do quite a lot of, which if you follow me on Twitter is, I call them high contrast because that's usually the setting that ends up getting played with the most of flowers um, and they always have this dark background on them. Uh, that's usually how I achieve that. Lowering the exposure, hitting up the contrast, the brightest colours get left, the background gets faded out. Um, for me it gives a nice effect. Uh, I really like that. So let's... Mm, I want to keep this quite dark and moody so I'm going to go quite low on the highlights. And my shadows too. I'm going to go quite dark on the shadows. They can be more like a border. Give them a vignette. Um, whites. Let's leave those a little bit down. Some new blacks. I think the blacks I'm not going to get anything out of. Ooh. Thumbs up if you like that. I kind of like that. It's not horrible. Um, it's a bit weird though. Now let's... Uh, it's all about that. Um, and what I kind of want to do is give this a old school photo vibe. Um, so give it that washed out look, almost like a picture taken in the beach. I'll sell camera. So what I usually do is go quite high on the dark channels, quite low on the light channels. Let's get the curve up. So you can see we've kind of got that detail in there and it's hidden, um, but it's quite washed out. And then more saturation to those oranges. I kind of want just a little bit more luminance just to brighten them back up again. I think we're done. I think I'm going to leave the color grade on this one. I'm kind of happy with that. And before and after. Oh. Let's just kill a few of these. There we go. Okay, on to the final image. And like I say, I usually like to do a black and white one. Um, it's always good just to kind of like flick into a black and white mode. Um, just leave it like that. That would be great. Uh, but let's play around a little bit more. I always find it's quite really crazy. If you've ever done like a image, edit it in black and white. Um, if you're showing colour to begin with, um, and then go a bit crazy I'll, and change it to colour after and just see the kind of like weirdness you would produce with some of the settings that you go for. And it's funny what works for black and white and what doesn't. Um, so I really like this cloud structure again. So that's going to come down. Um, I think what I might do, let's have a gradient and we're going to go high contrast, but just in the clouds. Like I want to try and bring that detail out quite heavily. Um, Let's go all the way and let's 
duplicate that. Let's try and double it. So yeah. So that's kind of like, I really love that color in the clouds. Let's draw that. So these highlights, let's just bring them down a touch and the shadows. Once again, I think I'm going to raise them this time. Um, I don't want to lose too much detail on the beach, um, but I'm not planning on playing with the curves too much in this. And similarly, blacks just a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to reduce the clarity on this um, wide. A bit counterintuitive because I increased the contrast so much of that um, the sky. And doing the clarity will. So if I go all the way, we we'll lose that completely. But I just want to give it a softness to the image. Um, it's so much that it'll be barely noticeable. But for me, it just gives it that little shine around the edges. Now, even though this is black and white, I have been doing this recently, um, I'd still like to add a very little kind of color to the shadows and highlights. And it's enough so you'll notice there's something there. So you'll see those clouds there. I can go all the way. It doesn't look too horrible, but I just like to touch on things a little bit. Um, Let's get it about there. Okay. That is number four. So before and after. So I'll put these all on Twitter for everyone to have a closer look. Um, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy what you've seen. Um, leave a comment with which is your favorite image below and have a good evening.